welcome back to another thrilling edition of the hurricane i'm brooke moultrie and i'm lucy evans some quick announcements are that next wednesday january 24th is fab and make sure you save the date for prom on march 16th in the clarence brown center tickets will be on sale soon we hope you enjoy today's episode let's dive right into this week's forecast with our weekend weather segment all right, Hurricanes, I'm Andrea. This weekend, Saturday is a high of 29 and a low of 12 with lots of sunshine. Sunday is a high of 41 with a low of 26 and also sunny. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Now it's time for some fun with our Silly Science segment. Welcome, guys. Welcome back to our new Silly Science segment. I'm here with Brooke Moultrie and Lucy Evans. And today we are going to be making slime while also being asked would you rather questions. So first, we have some air dry clay. We have two bottles of glue and we have two colors. They're pastels and we have our activator. So let's get started. Yes, let's get started. Next question. <laughs> Would you rather have the power of teleportation or time travel? Um, I would rather have the... I'd want to teleport because then I could, like, go see whoever I want to see and just, like, go see them, you know? <laughs> I would also want teleportation just because I can go anywhere. Right. Anytime. Next question. If you could only eat one cuisine, what would it be? Hmm... It would have to be shrimp alfredo from Olive Garden. It is the best ever. I love it, and I never get tired of it. I'd have to say my mom's homemade ziti, just because it's really good. See, she's thinking of homemade stuff. I should have said something like that. <laughs> yeah. But that's good, too. Olive yeah. Garden's an exception, though. Yes, yes. For yes. Sure, for sure. So this is clear tied. Um, I'm going to add it in first. Um, don't ask why it's in a bottle like this. Um, I wasn't going to bring a whole jug of uh, Tide to school, so. Right. Oh, it's, oh, OK, that should be enough. Wait, don't do much, too much. How much do I need? <laughs> just tell me to stop. Stop. Yeah. Just stop for now, and we'll. Would you <laughs> rather live in a bustling city or in a quiet countryside? Mm. That's a tough one. I think I would go with, I don't know, <laughs> maybe a city. I like cities, like cities are nice. I would say countryside, cause I don't really like that many people, so. <laughs> oh wow. I'm just being honest. That's right. Would you rather have the ability for super strength or for super intelligence? Um, super intelligence. I don't really care about like, <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> I don't really care about um, super strength like that, but super intelligence for sure. Okay, so um, as you can see, our slime is not activating. So what do we do in this um, circumstance? Um, do we know anyone that has um, tied? Anybody? Um, we know anyone. <laughs> so we had some technical difficulties. Um, we, our Borax, I mean our activator activator was not working, so we got some more. Got some Borax. Thanks, Ms. Higgins. So Thank you, Ms. Higgins. we're going to pour the Borax in water mixture. Let me see. There we go. <laughs> see? How much oh, did I put? Not a lot at all. Not a lot at all. Just some going to stop. That's it for now, because you can. Also Would you rather be a famous actor or a famous entrepreneur? Famous uh, entrepreneur. I l love. Make a bag. Make yeah, a bag. of course. I would say um, entrepreneur, just because I feel like they make Don't a lot touch of money. Don't touch it. Another plastic in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is? This? Oh, see, this is a slime. No, all right, all right. We're just gonna mix. <laughs> oh, gosh. Guys, are you kidding me? This is. <laughs> Bro, my watch is coming off. Like, hold on. Let me, can't get that. <gasps> no, that's crazy. Here, do you want me to like fix it? Oh, okay. Fine. Can you pick that up and make sure it didn't crack? I would get beat. Please don't touch. <laughs> Color it. That's nasty. Oh, Can we just go? Cut go, I cut the shoes up. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> wow. I made yellow snow. Where's the <laughs> Oh, wow. Ew, it's <laughs> eggs. Ew. <laughs> it's Ew. It's All right. Oh, crap. 
We're gonna just play Dude, with the clay. Dude, this is actually good. Like, I don't even know. Like, what? Oh, my gosh. Why am I jealous? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just gonna play with You're the clay. You're going to chose eggs. Um, we're just gonna play with <laughs> with the clay. Yeah, that's gonna make slime, uh, <laughs> this is gonna make slime, y'all. Never made slime? Made it. Guys, so, in conclusion, this was a, a flop. flop. Yeah. Um, this was terrible, and I would not recommend this. Right, yeah, the way we did it. Don't do it the way we did it. If you're not, if you're gonna make it, make it right. Show your hands. And your hands don't go blue. That's why you pick yellow. Or you get uh, eggs. Or you I don't eggs. know. Oh, that's okay. not it. Right, okay. Bye. 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 Awesome. Now let's shift gears to our next segment, where we shine a spotlight on the amazing teachers who make learning exciting. It's time for teacher feature with Chief Benayan. I'm here with Chief Benayan today, and he is our selected teacher feature for this week. And he is also our JROTC teacher for the second and fourth level classes. Yep, so uh, sophomore, for the most part, sophomores and seniors. And I'm this, uh, the head rifle coach. This is my first year teaching anywhere. Yes. So what would you say that Carswell, teaching at Carswell High School is like? Like, what is that like? Uh, so... I mean, I, it's, it's awesome, right? Like the whole mentality of, of Canes, I, I love. Um, I mean, I've been to other schools and grew up obviously going to school and, and it, the school pride is, is nowhere around like, like it is here. The school pride is amazing here and, and, and I actually love that. So where did you move from here? I moved from Cheyenne, Wyoming. So how has your family adjusted from moving from Cheyenne to Cartersville? They've adjusted very well. Um, the biggest one that we, we thought we were going to have a problem with was my sophomore, um, Bubba. But he, it's, it's hard for high schoolers to make new friends. And so he's adjusted very well. And the whole family has just, it's, it's like we grew up here. Let's check out what the students of CHS have to say in our Man on the Street segment. I'm Andrea and I'm Martin and today we're gonna be raiding bad parking our first car is this truck it's a Toyota but it's like taking two spots so I give it like a three out of ten all right we got this white car um, this one didn't even try. all right so we also got this car right here um, this was not a car it's a minivan but uh, I feel like I think the minivan thought it was a truck and try to go up the curb I mean as you can see, it's taking up two parking spots, and it's also sideways. Um, I'll probably give this, this is probably the worst parking spot I've ever seen in Carsville High School. They even left the windows down. And you can tell also, it's been crashed before. That's how you know they don't know how to drive. All right. Who am I here with today? Kimonte. I got a question for you. What is the animal that can be seen on a Porsche logo? I want to say a kangaroo. Wrong. It's a horse. Okay. Who, who am I here with? Chief Benign. I got a question for you. Who, which country created ice cream? America. Now you're wrong. It's China. China. Who am I here with? Mrs. Rents. All right. I got a question. Which country created ice cream? <laughs> I, I don't know. Take a random guess. Mexico. No, it's China. They create everything. Who am I here with? <laughs> Laura Renz. All right, I got a question for you. What was the first soft drink in outer space? Um, I'm going to have to go Sprite. And that's Coca-Cola. Okay, that makes sense, but I thought it was too obvious. Whether it's on the field, court, or track, our athletes shine bright. Let's meet this week's standout athlete. Who are we here with? Uh, Nazir Bennett. Um, what sport do you play? Uh, basketball. What position? Uh, I can really play anything, but for the most part, I play the two, sometimes the three, and depending on who's in the game, sometimes the point guard. What game are you looking forward to this season? I, I think it may be cast this Friday, but besides cast, what is it? Uh, the region tournament, because I feel like we really got a chance to make a deep run, and I feel like we should win our region this year. This may be spicy. Who you like to play in the region tournament? Um. Hiram has a real good team, so I definitely like to match up with them. They got a lot of they got a lot of tall athletes. They're real athletic, so I would definitely love to match up with Hiram. And the last question, 
rate these three players, Michael Jordan, Kobe, and LeBron. MJ the one, LeBron at the two, Kobe at three. What, what, what if I'm going to my favorite? Kobe's one, LeBron two, MJ's three. All right, thank you. Yeah. Have you ever played Nintendo 64? No, I haven't. That's old school. Let's check out this week's Game of the Week. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to an exciting episode of Game of the Week. Today, we're diving into the jungle adventure with one of the most iconic and nostalgic gaming franchises of all time. Get ready to swing, jump, and roll with Donkey Kong Country Returns. Released in November 21st, 2010, Donkey Kong Country Returns brings the classic platforming action back with a bang. Developed by Retro Studios for the Nintendo Wii, this game is a love letter to the fans of the original series. The story begins when the nefarious Tikis invade Donkey Kong Island, stealing all the bananas. Our favorite ape duo, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, set out on a journey to retrieve their precious banana hoard. What follows is a challenging and visually stunning journey through various environments. One of the first things that will catch your eye is the vibrant and detailed graphics. The lush jungles, volcanic landscapes, and even the cliff landscapes are beautifully rendered, capturing the essence of the classic Donkey Kong games while bringing a fresh and modern look to the table. As you swing from vine to vine, roll through obstacles, and ground pound your enemies, you'll appreciate the precise controls and fluid animations. The game also features a dynamic camera that zooms in and out enhancing the cinematic feel of the adventure. And if you're not up for the challenge alone, grab a friend. Donkey Kong Country Return supports cooperative multiplayer, team up with a buddy, and together you can conquer the tough levels and face the menacing bosses. Speaking of bosses, get ready for some epic showdowns, from colossal crabs to electrified arthropod. The game offers a variety of challenging and memorable boss battles that will test your skills and keep you on the edge of your seat. To aid you on your journey, there are various power-ups and collectibles scattered throughout the levels. From the iconic barrel blast to the exhilarating minecart rides, each level presents a new and exciting challenge. So there you have it, Donkey Kong Country Returns, a modern take on the classic series that stays true to its roots while delivering an exciting and challenging experience. Despite the Wii and DS consoles have been discontinued, you can still find them online or in the pawn shop and enjoy. That's it for this video game of the week episode. Until next time. And that's a wrap for this week's episode of The Hurricane. Thank you for tuning in. Go Canes.